three main findings for, for people. Uh, we're pretty consistent across all four organisations. I'd argue that we saw evidence probably from all four of them uh, for these three areas. The first of which was this notion of uh, promotion. Uh, in quite tough economic times that we've been facing recently, I think companies have been struggling to, to think about uh, developing staff and, and what they do with them and sometimes they simply don't have the opportunity to promote people. So what we've seen is uh, some comments, we've seen uh, training of staff being brought in and we've seen people put on particular projects to keep them engaged and develop them and their skill set inside the organisation. So this was evident at uh, probably all four organisations to varying degrees. So the notion that even though we can't necessarily promote you, we, we still value your contribution and we're looking at ways in which we can keep you a, a really important asset inside this organisation. The other two aspects, one uh, really was around the, the notion of the importance of engaging uh, the, the employee um, right from the start. So this was something that was key for the HR department. Um, and it was all around understanding the aptitude and the attitude of potential employees that you're bringing into the organisation. Companies, I think, are beginning to realise that they can train in skill sets. They have expertise for particular skills that are relevant to their industries and they can train this in. What you can't train in is attitude. If somebody's got the right attitude, that's great and you can help them develop that in the context and culture of your organisation. If they haven't got it, you're going to struggle to develop it. So it's really about identifying people who like people and employing those people inside your organisation because they're going to give better value to your customers. The final point was all around this notion of staff reviews. So it was about looking at the annual review of your staff and thinking about how that fits with the organisational direction. So companies were getting better at looking at the overall holistic vision for the organisation and then realigning the, the staff review process with that long-term vision for the organisation so that they're actually rewarding staff for, for doing things that take the organisation in the right direction. Thank you.